<laughs> my guy JJ. Ooh, this is live, full out live. And y'all know why I know it's live? Because that was teeny tiny itty bitty out of tune. Teeny tiny itty bitty out of tune. But at this point, you know how I feel about that. Love that. I love that it's live. This is so freaking beautiful. Why is his suit like 11 sizes too big? He looks like a child wearing his dad's suit. Why is it like that? Uh, but this is so gorgeous. Uh, another thing I loved is even right there, you heard that he was slightly late, slightly late on his entrance, which is another awesome indication that it is live. This is so beautifully produced. And another thing I want to draw your attention to is how we can, I say, hear the room. So you can hear that this is a large, well, I'll say two things. You can hear that this is a large room, a large auditorium. And then also there's a there's a reverb, which is a, the word that people tend to recognize more is echo, but it's not the same thing as an echo. It's just, do you hear how his voice is, it reverberates after he sort of is finished saying the line, you still hear the tail end of it? We call that reverb. Uh, so we hear reverb because the producer of this has made beautiful decisions. It has beautiful production on the vocals, but also we hear that it is a big room. And I, this is familiar and, and fresh in my mind because I just played a gig in a big room, not as big as shows as him, but big enough that I kind of embarrassed myself because I asked, so when you're performing a show, typically, I don't see his monitor. Oh, he has in-ear monitors. He's wearing these. But at this show, I was playing the monitors on the ground. It's a speaker that faces you, just for you. And I asked them to turn the reverb down because the echo is so loud in the room. So they turned the reverb out of my monitor and then there was still so much echo in the room, but I was, I don't wanna say I was nervous, but it was a, an important event. So I said, oh, can you, can you still turn down the reverb a little bit in the room? And they said, there is no reverb in the room, which kind of just, it's just, the point is the room is so big that your voice naturally reverberates. We hear our voices or sounds bounce off the walls, the ceiling, the floor. It just was an embarrassing moment. But anyway, we hear that he ha is slightly out of tune in that one little, little tiny moment. We hear that he entered late at this teeny tiny moment. And we're also hearing his voice bounce off the big room that he's playing, which if it was uh, pre-recorded, it would just sound like a perfect pre-recording, just like similar to his record that got released onto radio. So I just love it. It's not that it, it's not that when artists use pre-recording, it's so bad, but as a vocal coach and a singer myself, I just think it's fun to hear the real deal. Holy crap! I just saw how big the audience was. Woo! Did you hear that little baby out of tune note again? I feel, part of me feels like a jerk for pointing it out, but okay, okay. If I'm being also really honest with you, I'll say this. It makes me feel better 
because sometimes when I'm playing a show and I hear myself do that, I think, oh God, I'm so bad. Like, why is that happening? But it's just such a great reminder that we are human. We are human and uh, our instruments are finely tuned. Our ear as a singer, our ear and the muscles that surround our vocal apparatus, our body, our brain, we are well calibrated to stay in tune and to do all the things that we know we want to do and we're, we've rehearsed to do, but we are still flesh and blood. So it's a great reminder for me personally as an artist that I'm just a human. And also it's a neat opportunity to point out to you guys because we don't find a lot of truly live videos because, because that's just not what our culture is doing right now in the music industry. I've said before, we hyper perfect everything. So this is so cool that whoever produced this show did allowed this and also his confidence as a singer and his team's confidence of him as a singer and artist really shines when we get to see this. Okay, so I feel like he's doing a compilation of songs. I'm going to assume they're his songs and probably his hit songs. Once I was in Las Vegas and somebody kind of talked me into going to a Celine Dion show. Celine Dion is a very good singer, but I was really excited to hear all of her hits through the entire show. But what she ended up doing, similar to this, I think, was playing a compilation of all her hits, like 30 seconds of each hit. And then the rest of the show was her doing cover songs. I was so disappointed kind of because I just wanted to hear all her hits from my childhood. And maybe that's what he's doing. Although I don't think he's old enough to have songs from my childhood, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Did you guys see that he took one of his in-ear monitors out? He popped it out. That's something that we do sometimes if we don't love the mix we're hearing. If we don't love the way we're hearing our voice or the volume we're hearing our voice or the way uh, or volume we're hearing the other instruments mixed in, or the other thing sometimes is a singer will want to hear the room, hear the room. Uh, we, they maybe want to hear the fans or just want to hear themselves uh, audibly, not through any processing, not through any tech, but just right from their mouth to their ear. So, so you can hear he's pop. You can see, pardon me, he's popped one of his in ears out. <laughs> instrumentation having having this big string section 
just beautifully, beautiful to listen to, beautiful to watch. Wonderful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's so cool at the point in this show to hear him do a long and loud. It just made me realize that he hasn't even done that yet. And it's such a captivating performance. But we just heard, yeah! and we didn't even need it, but we loved it. Right to tiny, teeny, fragile, beautiful. Tell how successful he's been, how talented he is, how wonderful he is, considering that he's just flowing through song after song. And look at the stage. He's the only one on it. There are no dancers from what I can see. There's no laser light show. It's just him being awesome, delivering his art with sincerity and really masterful skill. Hearing, this is so well rehearsed. This is such a beautifully flawless live performance. And I know I've pointed out the teeny tiny flaws, but that's, do you see what I'm saying? Like that's just human, but the performance itself is just like <gasps> massive, massive. It's just so delicious. <laughs> Good vibrato. Oh. Did you notice when he spoke just now, did you notice how it sounded so much like his singing voice? And that's such a, an awesome opportunity for me to point out that, in my opinion, some of the very best singers their speaking voice and their singing voice is so darn similar because it's real, right? They're not being a character. They're not playing a character or putting on, putting on a, a different version of themselves to bring their artistry to life. It's literally their one and only voice being breathed into song. That's what I sometimes tell my students. Singing is purposeful exhalation, right? We breathe in and we exhale into our voice, we phonate, but we do it with purpose and with direction and with much expertise, hopefully, eventually. And we just got to hear his speaking voice. He just said, hey, or I did something, some little thing, but it took me a second to even register that he was speaking because his speaking voice and singing voice are so intertwined, they're the same. It's, it's wonderful to, to hear and see. So his suit looks 18 sizes too big, but also are his feet like a giant? His shoes look humongous. Are his feet actually that big? Is that a thing or is it just the style? This entire outfit is so funny to me. And even his hair is like tufting out the back. I love it. He's so casual, I guess. Oh. 
That's Michael Jackson esque. Notice how he's not doing much dancing. This isn't to shit on artists that do incorporate dancing, but I just want you to notice that he is singing live, so he can't do big dancey moves, or else he'd be like. <gasps> and you'd hear him taking steps. So he is choosing, his art and his performance is choosing to focus on really on the vocal, on the vocal reality, as opposed to song and dance and lights and, and all of those things. But it's, it's important to notice that because I think too, if anybody ever says, oh, so-and-so so artist, they don't dance, they don't do much. Well, that's similar to an artist here, Adele. I'm sure you guys know Adele. She doesn't do a whole lot of dancing either because it's all about her voice. And doing these teeny tiny subtle things with our voice, we need our body to be a really good foundation. These, these muscles, you know, we do support our voice with lots of musculature here, but also little baby muscles here. And we need a solid foundation. There's only so much we can do. I made a video once uh, where I was on a treadmill and I was singing actually a Celine Dion song. And it is very, very hard to keep the voice steady when you're doing big, big movements. So there is good reason for him to be relatively stationary. And the movements he, he is taking are kind of thoughtful and they're not terribly abrupt. It's, it's great to see, not only it's not only great to see him doing this, but it's great to see that it works and that fans are appreciating it. Michael Jackson, don't shy. That sort of mid to fast and really shallow vibrato, so good. A lot of these instruments are live too. Well, I think a lot of this is live because keep in mind, even though he's live, they could still have lots of tracks and stuff playing in the background and they may, they may have some, but to me, this sounds awfully live. The instruments sound like I can hear the real sound of the instruments. It's really cool. And this is long. Like he's been going for some time here without a break and there's no screw ups. <laughs> it's really great. Oh. That's beautiful. He's such a master of those switchies. Is he's so cute like I find him so handsome but I don't know if it's just because I find him so talented no he's cute I think he's cute he's cute right <laughs>
guitar players dressed hilariously like Bon Jovi from 1996. What is going on? <laughs> Awesome! He's wearing like heads and a headband. Tempo change. Have I heard him sing in English before? He just got even hotter. This is cool. It's neat. It's neat for me to hear this. Let's go. You're crying in your bedroom. Easy to forget you. Turn this to yourself and now I'm gone, gone. Hey. Yeah, I have a crush on him straight up. I can't help it. speech based that is or yell based that is we love to hear singers sound casual it doesn't mean they are casual it doesn't mean they're not actually trying but isn't it isn't it um endearing when it sounds like it's just falling out of their mouth he's such a great example of that kind of vocal technician so good <laughs> You know, it would actually be kind of hard to sing with that amount of confetti falling. I think you'd be afraid that you were going to inhale some of it. I think it'd be freaky. To be hitting notes like this after this long of a spell of singing, he hasn't even taken a breath, let alone a sip of water. This is quite the performance. quick slide upwards just ah so good Falsetto. beautiful ending if it is 
What a performance. Wow! I think this might be my favorite performance of any video we have reviewed to date, I think. This was an incredible performance. So good. I can't run from myself. There's nowhere to hide. Your love I remember forever. Don't make me close. I want my door. I don't want to run anymore. Stay in my arms if you dare. Oh, oh, oh.